asking back for a quick transform review. It'll be slightly different than usual because I'm going to introduce you to free transformers I recently picked up, which I would 120% recommend you purchasing, and one that I don't. So that's four transformers for the price of one now on review. Now that's not bad. So should we focus on the good ones or the bad one? Right, let me think. I think good ones first, don't you? All right, this one I've been particularly impressed by. Classics Hound. What a great representation of the character that we used to see in the Generation 1 cartoon. Now, we all know Hound. He originally, I think, was written in as the best friend and pal Spike, but it later transpires that it becomes Bumblebee and Hound takes a, sort of like a back step, and by Season 2, he does absolutely jack shit. He does nothing. And... In the movie, you see him there, he's sort of like, Prime's going to face Megatron, he's leaning, leaning on the shuttlecraft going, you know what, Prime, you know what, mate, it's your fight and I've got better things to do, like, you know, nothing. So, yeah, we never see him again, it's not really explained where or what he does. Um, we have an alternators variant of him, we have the little miniature one now, obviously the G1, we have a swindle variation on the Hobbies exclusive, but this pays the best homage to Hound. And because they're being so nice to us at the moment, Hasbro, if you remember the very first episode uh, arrived from Cybertron, he's chased by one of, I think it's, yes, of course it is, Soundwave's cassette Laserbeak. But later on, he has a little bit of a hmm, kerfuffle, shall we say, with Ravage. And guess what? They include Ravage in the set. Now, that's pretty damn good. I have absolutely no complaints on this toy whatsoever. It wouldn't make it into my top 10 purely on the basis that as have a hound I was never a fan of. I mean, he used to do varying forms of tricks, shall we say, where he used to mm, make many copies of himself. But other than that, he didn't do a great deal and his character was pretty dull, actually. It didn't really do a lot for me. Ravage, on the other hand, is great. And even the cassette variant of this is superb. I've got a few problems with him, but look, let's be honest, he's a bonus toy. I mean, you don't just buy the set for Ravage, you buy it for Hound and you get Ravage with it, that's not bad. He even has great facial moulding and light piping for the head, that's excellent. I'm not so sure I like the front bit, but you know what, that's splitting hairs, as I said, faultless toy. And if you haven't got it, you've got to go up to the shops now and buy it. Oh yeah, yeah, I've been watching you. Alright, yeah, I've got cameras everywhere. Alright, okay. Next one that I think is absolutely excellent. Universe Inferno. What a great toy. I've been looking everywhere for this one. I picked it up at Auto Assembly and I was very happy for want of a better word. There's something else then. It's excellent. The head is great. Mm, bit sceptical that I would have liked the little bit, you know, round the sides here like the original one had. But look, it hasn't got to be identical to be the same toy or... Um, I know, re new recreation of the same one. The fact is, as a standalone toy, it's brilliant. I haven't quite decided whether I like these bits at the back here, or I like them at the side, see, look. I think I like them at the back, but I don't know which the, you know, exact transformation of it is. It's an excellent toy. It transforms very well into the fire truck. I'm sorry, I'm too much time staring at the toy. Should be staring at the camera. And I love the toy. And if you haven't got it, I said it was in my top three ones that I picked up in the best, so you know the answer to that one. Right, let's move swiftly on to the last one that's good. Onslaught. This toy is the bee's knees. I love this toy. It's excellent. I wish it could combine. I know that's stupid saying that, but if this could combine, that'd be absolutely marvellous. Um, I don't know if there's something wrong with the sound box on mine, because that's it, look. All that. I don't even know what that sound's meant to be. But the toy is great. Look at the head moulding. You know I like to focus on head mouldings. That's brilliant. Don't you think it looks just like the Generation 1 character on the show? Not the toy, but the character on the show. This guy looks like he could combine. He's excellent. He makes a great vehicle mode. Uh, I think it's brilliant, apart from the old sound effect thing. And he makes a, other varying sounds, I think. All right. Uh, answers on a postcard. What is that meant to be? Uh, is it somebody taking a swim? Somebody getting whipped? Hmm. You 
know what? I don't know. Funny that, ain't it? It's a rubbish sound effect, but a great toy. Gotta get this one, guys. Gotta get it. Right, this leads me to the last one. And who do you think it could be? Yeah, I might be sceptical. You might be saying, hmm, it's probably something to do with Hot Rod. Hmm, no. Or you could have just read the little text box at the side saying what I'm going to talk about. So, I can't really play the mystery game, can I? Unless I don't put it up there. Hmm. Yeah, but you might get less people watching it, less subscribers, less hits. Hmm. You know what? I'm just going to have to show you the toy. Cheetor. Out of the latest toy lines of classics. It's rubbish! Okay. Looks great in cheetah mode, doesn't it? I think his head does something too. Does it do anything? Yeah, you see the eyes there? Look, what do you want to put his head up? Changes to red eyes! Hey! Green or red eyes! What is he a stop and go sign, is he? So the cars all stop when he's got green eyes. And what, oh, they stop when he has red eyes, I should say, and go when he has green? He's a traffic light! That's it. You see, I found out. I knew I was thinking the right direction. Do you want to see what this abysmal toy transforms into? Look, before I go any further, Panther, Cheetor mode, Absolutely brilliant. But robot mode, different story. Right, now I bet you lot are sitting there thinking, right, he's just been a dumbass again, isn't he? He's splitting hairs and moaning about a transformer that really isn't that bad for absolutely no reason. He's talking a lot of... Yes, it is that bad. Look, what's going on? Looks like he's got a wheel attached to the back of him. This is a horrible toy. Now look at it. Spindly little stupid legs which don't sit right. Alright, fine, I haven't straightened. That looks ridiculous. Um, the saving grace I will say is he's got little spinny things that sit in... Spinny things. I'm sorry, that's not a very technical term, is it? Um, little things that sit inside here and need to cover them up. Marvellous. Absolutely bloody marvellous. I'm really impressed. Not. Look, he can't look forwards. Okay, if he wants to look forwards, he has to do that. He's got problems, this guy. And I'm not kidding. Look, he can't look... And he comes apart again. Oh, and his arms, they will not fit into the grooves here. You push it, they will not stay. And the head moulding would be lovely if you could flip and see it, but you can't. Unless you're on an aerial view, so you've got to look down on the toy if you want to see the head. I don't know what went wrong here. They had such great scope. Dinobot is brilliant. Hound is great. Cyclone is probably one of the best Transformers ever. He's in my top ten. This is abysmal. Look at the hands, look. They sort of like cut things underneath it. Look, 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 look. It's like a Generation 1 toy. It's horrible. They just like, they sort of gave up. They sort of were designing it for, you know, they have to do a Cheetor toy. We're not quite sure where to go with it because the others were so good. So, because they were so good, the other ones, we'll make this one really, really bad. And you know what? They've excelled themselves. This toy isn't just bad. It's absolutely abysmal and atrocious. And I can't stand it. So, this is one to avoid. If you're a fan of Cheetor, I'm sorry to disappoint you. All the other Cheetors are great. I love the Beast Machines, uh, Beast Wars, Transmetals, all of them. All been great. This guy, he's a letdown. He's sort of like the runt of the family or the, the black sheep. You really don't want to know that he exists. I'm afraid he's not a good toy. And I recommend you steer clear of this one. But on the up shot, I recommended three that you look out for. And if you haven't got it, it's Onslaught. Great toy. Inferno. Yeah, you're yeah, alright. And it's got to be. Classics Hound. What a great toy. Can't say enough about this one, actually. Apart from he's got a disgruntled face. Actually, you know what? If I can get this on camera, just for the hell of it. Alright, let's get this on here. You know, he's got a sort of like... Mm, a prime! I, 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 yeah, that kind of thing, you know? I don't know where they're going with that one. But that's one to look out for. Alright, that's just me, me Starscream, with a quick review of three Transformers that are good, and one that ain't. Take care, guys, and see you out there. Oh, my God.